Hello, I am your host Michael, and I'm going to be showing you how to use Dr. Mike's glue. The best glue I've ever worked with. I'm going to be putting together a Magnuson kit today, which I had to resin cast since it was missing some parts when I had purchased it. So I resin casted the whole vehicle. Made life a little easier. Uh, when you purchase Dr. Mike's, it comes in a little package like this, with a little push pin that helps you open it up. And I also recommend getting the Teflon tubing. It makes applying the glue a lot easier. Now, let's get started. Okay, so when you first start, just kind of follow over some of the areas here. It's just uh, roughed up a little bit. Um, I had done that previously on all the parts. And so I began applying. The nice thing about having a tube, it applies a very little amount in a particular area. I squeeze a little bit of air out of it before I uh, tilt it over to put the glue in. And uh, a nice thing, it'll sit there for a little while in a liquid state. And you don't have to rush to get something on there. And, but yet when you apply a pro object to it, it usually has a tendency to start sticking virtually immediately. However, I wouldn't sit down and fool with it too much. It's like any other adhesive where uh, you don't want to rush it, but it will hold there long enough. And as it's setting up, you can start applying some more uh, on some more areas here. So everything's roughed up here. Um, this glue, by the way, has been in this bottle for well over a year, maybe a year and a half. You see how it's just still sloshing around and it was sitting just the way you see it here. I hadn't done anything special, hadn't put a cap on. Once you take the cap off, that's it. You don't need to worry about it ever again. You just use a little pin to, to put that little hole in, and uh, everything's usually good to go. So let me hold that wheel on there just a little bit. You have to, it must not have been filed correctly. Let me use the back end here and rough it up some more. Make sure the other wheel's totally roughed up. Found out it likes to fly. And it, it likes to drop. So it's roughed up. Apply a little glue. Just hold it there for a second. Now it's holding. Apply a little more glue here. And like that. Apply the wheel. So it's on there good. And the other nice thing I like about it, see if I can show it to you correctly. See, I'm just holding this here, so let's see if I can do it this way here. Now, I didn't apply anything yet because I wanted to show you how the other nice thing about this is it can wick right in when applied like this. It does wick right in. Give a little time to set up. And it does wick. Oh, I got to fix the tire. Interesting. There's that. Now to also show you it bonds to multiple types of material, this is PVC tubing on a wire, which is going to be for my exhaust pipe, which will be applied just like this. So there's a little air coming out of it. Tilt it over. And applying, and applying. 
fly. And hold it there just a little bit. But it does bond metal to virtually any other surface. And I've got one stubborn little tire right there. You do have that occasional thing uh, sometimes. But if you're in no particular hurry, it does bond very well. I hope this uh, video has been very informative, and thank you for coming to my workshop.